Asalaamu Alaikum fam, hope you're doing well. So, if you are struggling with people who want to take you down, one thing that can help you endure is to keep pressing forward and to not let them get inside your head. There are strategies on the troll farms from Reddit where they do these sort of bot crusades, false flagging crusades, they manufacture fake outrage, stir problems, and consistently keep up their efforts because they're this sort of gamma hive of strange online behavior that comes from having real life connection. And they get a dopamine hit from causing problems for other people. They seem to not know when to let things go, they kind of fester, and they're addicted to hate following. Instead of focusing on what they like, they focus on whom they hate. And when they narrow in on somebody, it's like they're addicted to constantly getting outraged. I noticed this type of feeling uh, that came from Twitter, and I have to say, it is very destructive and ever since then you know I was always glad that I left Twitter because I was banned but my weird type of like always angry vibe that comes from that app because of the speed of it and, and the atmosphere of the liberal atheists on Twitter how they have created a sort of madness that doesn't really affect me anymore because I'm not in it and since Twitter would censor people who didn't go along with that narrative and artificially create a fake algorithm that would support only those whom they liked and derank those whom they didn't like so to have their finger on the scale, this, you know, can put you in like, whoa, Alice in Wonderland type of feeling. So understand that we're living in an age where hatred for petty things is like rampant. It is quite insane how people will find things to get very very upset about when there's actually real things that you should be very energetic to discuss and very accurate to point out. So with that all being said, don't let your enemies tire you out. They circle around you, they stalk you, they do whatever they gotta do. You outlast them, you keep doing good because they actually get more mad when you're doing good. You never ever succumb to your enemies. Never. You always get back up. You always keep it moving, keep producing. Keep loving, keep rejuvenating yourself, keep praying, you keep eating well, sleeping good, and let your haters fester in their online keyboard warriorship and their WhatsApp groups and their screenshotting culture and all the fake things that they try to stir up. You don't need that. You're better than that. So press onward and know that there are a lot of mentally ill people who spread their mental illness onto sane people online and people who may not be aware of it are like, whoa, is this person for real? When in reality they're having a bad day and they're spiraling out and they can't break their addiction to outrage. They always gotta be outraged at something a YouTuber said, something a Twitch streamer said, something, it's always something. They themselves are not producers, but passive receivers and active troublemakers. So lead by example and outwit your haters. And keep the flow ever moving and be steadfast and ask Allah Asawajal to make your feet firm. He can do this because Allah is capable of all things.